Things did not go as planned for head coach Nate Varnador and his Citrus High Hurricanes in their season opener. They fell 3-0 to Lando Lakes on a last second field goal, and the coach and his staff wasted little time trying to fix what was broken. You know, it's a team effort across the board. Everybody thinks the program is consistent of just the kids. It's not. It's everybody across the board. And we, you know, I took a step back, I reevaluated and said, what do we overall need to be better at? And so we changed some things in practice with our tempo. We've addressed some things with what we emphasize as a staff. And we can already see a difference. Even a day where we had to be in the gym and practice with the thunderstorms that rolled in, you know, we had an overall upbeat day, a competitive day. Kids had a good time and it still had some intensity. So that's a sign, that's a good sign of things moving forward. Everybody's ready to go. Everybody's ready to win. Uh, we're together. I mean, nothing's gonna hold us back. We're gonna, we're gonna do this thing together. No surprise, it was the defense who shined the brightest, only giving up three points, something the head coach will take every week. Yeah, if you were to tell me that our defense would give up three points and uh, our offense would outgain the opposing team's offense and we would not win the game, I would have thought you were crazy. But, uh, you know, it's Friday Night Lights, it happens. And, you know, again, it goes back to what we try to teach these young men about how to respond to adversity, determining what kind of man you are, you know, when things get rough, are you going to pack it in? Are you going to blame others? Are you going to bounce back and embrace the fight and embrace the grind? And so that's what's been going on this message we've been hammering this whole week is we're going to find 11 guys who we can trust who are about the grind, who are about getting better, who are about their team, and we're going to get them out there on the field because that's going to be the key to success. Yeah, it felt pretty good. I mean, everything was clicking on the defensive side. We had everybody stopping the run, doing their job, playing as a unit on defense. It's just if we can get all together, it would be, uh, it'd be pretty good. The challenge on Friday night is to take on a Dinellan team that certainly will not be happy after their season opening loss. They're going to be angry coming here. They're going to be angry, and I know Coach Harris well enough to know that's what he's going to be harping on them. You know, someone's got to pay. We lost, someone's got to pay, and they're, they're going to want to come in here and handle business against us, and that's what we're telling the kids, too. It's like, if you think for a second they're going to lay down and die and accept defeat, no, they're on a mission. We're both looking for that first win, and it, for a lot of coaches, that's the most important one to get because once you have that, you know how it feels, and then you can, it's easier to achieve the second and so on and so forth. So I know Coach Harris is hammering that home with his guys, and they're going to come in, and they're going to play a level up from where they did last week. I'm excited to play them. Uh, last year they were some very good competition. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing them and seeing what we can do.